in December of last year, I uploaded a video about my new Mac Mini M4, which performed really well recently for YouTube search terms. So I'm assuming lots of people are looking for performance stats on the Mac Mini M4. Uh, so I'm making this video just to give you my experience. And straight away, it is pretty good. The first thing that some people might care about is launch speed. Uh, I don't know because I don't use the vanilla launcher a lot of the time. But I'm going to give it a go now. Yeah, and imagine relatively quick. This is a version I've not actually loaded before. So this is a first launch of 1.21.5. And look at that. Instant. <laughs> That's actually nuts. I have owned this for several months and I've never launched a new version like that. That's pretty good. I was, I'll, yeah. I've, okay, I've just got lots of incompatible words because I've not used this version. They're all on snapshots. So we'll create a new one, see what the frame rate is like. We'll, yeah, survival will do. Put it in full screen. So I'm running at 4K. Uh, your resolution might be different, so I'll try out a couple. So 4K full screen right now. It's running at 150, which is higher refresh rate than my monitor so that's fine my monitor only gets to 60 which d don't call me so it's a mac i'm not going to be that insane yeah, i can't zoom in because it's vanilla oh whoops so 150 in 4k 164 so the uh, f3 menu actually takes a bit of processing power and it does lower it when i get f3 which is really weird but uh, it does now this will be at the vanilla default settings so that's 4k i can turn that down actually if i like uh so six chunks render distance that's actually really low <laughs> but i think if i put it to 12 um if i put it to 12 and it's literally not changed okay so you can expect if you're running at 4k uh, pretty much just consistently above a hundred uh, uh, like uh, above Right now, I'm looking at 120, 100. Oh, it's dipped down a bit, you know, but 4K, that's actually pretty good. So if you're playing 4K and your refresh rate is higher than 60, if you have an 120 FPS Monty, you might notice a bit of a delay, but it's completely worth the the compact... It's a compact computer, right? So this is ridiculously good. Um, it is also using the M4 processor, which is very powerful. Look at our chickens. So I am, I mean, it, I am running, this is 32 chunks render distance, which looks pretty nice, you know. I can see pretty far. We've got cows mooing in the background. Quite a lot of mobs. So a lot's going on, and it's handling it really well. I'll also just touch it, and it, it's a little toasty, but it's, like, not going to burn my hand off. Yeah, in fact, it's not even that warm. I, I'd, I'd even say it's kind of cold, considering it's doing all this, and... Nothing. I mean, it's just above room temperature. But I can't hear the fan, which has only got one, and it is very quiet if you're looking into buying one of these, because obviously you haven't. Either that, or you just haven't bought Minecraft, right? Oops, I've fallen. <laughs> right, so that is pretty good. Now it's at 200, but it's not in full screen. Cool. Uh, I'll just turn that all the way up. Maybe the resolution slider doesn't make a difference. I, that, I've just thought of that. I don't think the resolution's right. So pretty much just expect above 100. That's it. <laughs> it's going to be above 100. That, that's all I can guarantee you for resolution. Now, I'm going to play with some other settings. So I'll turn everything to maximum. So that was at 12. Entity. We'll just turn everything all the way up. Oh, this does not matter at all. Th this isn't going to make a difference. Fancy, threaded, smooth lighting, V-Sync. No. Right, so everything appears to be highest it can get, because you can't actually turn that much up. And the highest, it's dipped down a bit. You know, 45 is pretty bad. When this was brand new, a few months ago, it was hitting 100. And then it hit 1,000. And then 500. But I wasn't running it at a 4K. So it turns out, you want to be doing this at 1080p. I wonder why. That's so weird. It was not doing that before. So, maybe it's the simulation distance. I think it might be. I think that might be it. Because that's actually made it really warm. If I turn that down, but still 32 chunks, do you th reckon it's going to shoot up? It should. I think it would. I kind of did. If I just F5 look up, it'll shoot up. That's because it's not rendering everything that I'm not looking at. If I look down into the caves or at this cow, it goes down a bit. Um... 
and the fans are on. I'm concerned. That shouldn't happen. I've lost a lot of frame rate then because I'm recording. So we'll put it at 12. Right. So what I would recommend you do, which is what I do anyway. Whoops. Okay, so now I'm running the game with Sodium and a few other mods. And 150. The same. For some reason. In the short I did several months ago when I literally got it day after. The processing power was only going to Minecraft. There was nothing else on it. So it did hit a thousand and it wasn't running in 4K. So if you're running in 4K, it does lower quite considerably, but I'd say it's worth it. And I've got a 60 hertz monitor, so it's not making a difference. I've not got a 120 FPS one. Uh, this is my flat world as well, so it's not freshly generated. Now, let's change it up a bit. Let's put some shaders on, and these are not low performance shaders. It went to zero for a second. But no, it's handling quite well. Still at 30 FPS, so the same. Um, speed I've been recording this entire time with the F3 menu open and you can't tell really it's not lagging so much in fact I'm questioning is this even 20 is it even is it truthful it, it says 25 fps but it doesn't feel like 25 fps you know I'm actually quite impressed <laughs> by, by how fast it is it's quite smooth look at that that's impressive. I, I I don't play with shaders often, so I'm, uh, this is quite enjoyable for me. I'm going to check the temperature of the thing, the little compact boy, and we'll see if it's going absolutely crazy. Um, Here it is. Here's the thing in real life. I've got a cloth on it, so that's probably doing it no good. And tell you what, it's warm, but it's not going to burn my hand. I, could, I, I can keep it there. Whoops. I, I can keep my hand there, and it's comfortable. It's not like insane. I don't know what I'd call them. I'm getting fingerprints on it. This is why the cloth's there. <laughs> um, so it's doing decently well temperature wise. And considering it's literally I could pick it up with my hand like that and it it's doing well. <laughs> this is pretty insane. An issue with this, by the way, for gaming in particular, the only ports on it are USB C. I've gotten around this. I've got this little USB hub here. So that is my mouse, my microphone and keyboard. But you might not have one of those lying around. So make sure you've got a Bluetooth mouse and keyboards and headset because you might not be as skilled as me and own one of those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it's only using a 13% of the memory, which is good. GPU 95 that's not super good, but it's integrated graphics on a Mac, and considering that, that is pretty good. So I think that pretty much concludes the um, the little performance check on the thing after a few months of I've used it for other things as well. Um, if you have any questions, though, feel free to just ask me in the comments, and I'll just answer it straight away. And if I don't know the answer, I'll just check, because I can. <laughs> um, but... Personally, I really love this thing. I would genuinely recommend that you buy one. You can get it for £600, or if you can prove you're a student, £500, which I did, and pretty good deal. It is the most impressive computer you can buy right now, just because it's tiny, very price efficient, electricity efficient, and very quick for its tiny little size, and only 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I'm running on. So I've got the base model one with none of the extras, so if you get the M4 Pro, I imagine that'll be a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, if you plan on buying one of these things, I would recommend you do. It is lovely. Discord and a few other things, and they take a bit of space up in the background. I did not build whatever that monstrosity is right there. In fact, if I if I don't cut this out, my friend will be very he he'll be laughing if he's watching this because he built this. <laughs>